Hi guys, welcome to Asus Rotors Wi-Fi Troubleshooting Guide. So how to fix the Wi-Fi connection problem? First solution you should keep in mind is to restart your hardware. Uh, not a factory reset, just restart, just power it off and power it on back again. And uh, of course you need to make sure that uh, your LED indicators on the rotor uh, are on and stable. Uh, if the problem persists, uh, try to restart your modem as well. So now let's wait for the restart to be completed and uh, I'll tell you a couple of words about the indicators. Uh, so this blinking indicator right above the planet icon means that the rotor is connected to the internet via WAN port. And these two indicators uh, means that the rotor broadcasting Wi-Fi, but none of them are blinking. This means there is no devices connected to these rotors. Check for this also. Maybe you have more than one rotor or you have extenders and at this very moment uh, your devices are connected to another Wi-Fi source where you have problem and this rotor is actually good. So double check this thing too. Also, I would recommend you to check if your Ethernet cable from the modem to the rotor is not damaged or anyway, uh, you can try to replace this cable with another one. Also, check the Ethernet cable from your rotor to the LAN socket in your wall and if it's okay, uh, try to do next. Take another Ethernet cable and connect the rotor directly uh, with your PC or laptop. And if the wired connection is working and Wi-Fi is at fault, uh, try to change Wi-Fi uh, name and password and reconnect your devices uh, to this new network. This can be done in the Asus Rotor application, but first of all, make sure that your smartphone is connected to the Asus Rotors network. Uh, then you can go to application uh, and stay on the home tab, tap on this Wi-Fi icon, then tap on your Asus network name, and then you can change name and password. Or you can use the browser web interface. Uh, to do this, just open your browser on laptop or PC or even mobile browser. Check if your device is connected to your Asus network and uh, type in rotor.asus.com. Hit enter and then you need to log in into your graphic user interface. And on the first tab, network map, you need to select this block. Uh, this icon should be highlighted and uh, here you can change the Wi-Fi uh, name and password. And this interface may vary by rotor, but with minor differences, uh, it works for any model. If you still can't connect to your Wi-Fi even after you've changed the network name and password, try to disconnect the rotor and connect your modem directly to your computer. Uh, if you still don't have internet after this operation, once again check if everything looks good near modem, uh, check for all cables, all LED indicators depending on your uh, modem's model. And if, you, if everything is okay and you don't have internet, uh, connect the rotor back and uh, go back to your graphic user interface in your web browser. So let's connect it back. This time you need to make your way to the WAN settings and now you pretty much want to contact your ISP and check if these settings are correct. Either way, if there is no internet WAN directly connected to the modem, your provider should help you to solve this problem somehow anyways. One thing you can try to do by yourself in these WAN settings is to assign the DNS server manually. So DNS server is the server that converts the website's domain name into its IP address. Let's not dive deeply, just uh, let me show you how it works. Click on assign here and here you can change the DNS assignment from automatical to manual. For example, try to use Google DNS uh, or try to use uh, manual DNS. For example, you can type in 1.1.1.1 and 1.0.0.1. This is 
the DNS servers by Cloudflare, they are completely safe and they are not collecting your uh, user data. So just click on save and try to access the internet using manual uh, DNS servers. But if you found that the router is indeed at fault, try a couple of other solutions. First of all, try to update your firmware, go to administration section, click on firmware upgrades and check for updates. So if you have the updates to be installed, install them. Also, I would recommend you to enable auto firmware upgrade. So turn it on, wait for a while, click on this resend button here. Uh, so update the firmware and also you can try to go to the wireless settings in advanced settings and change the control channel of 2.4 gigahertz band. So uh, scroll down until you see the control channel and try to use channels number one, number six and number 10. Also try to do the same for five gigahertz bands and try to use different channels from 36 to 64. And if none of the above worked as a last resort, you can do the factory reset. Just grab the pin and press and hold the reset button on the back panel of your rotor until you see the blinking power indicator. Now release the button. Uh, now these two indicators will turn off. And when they are back on, you can set up your device from scratch. And if after factory reset, your device is still not working, this is already a reason to contact ASUS support. Uh, so guys, I hope this was helpful. Thanks for watching. Subscribe to the channel. Thumbs up and be awesome. Bye guys.